Well, it was a pretty chilly night. I brought two uh, sleeping bags with me on this trip. One more of a three season bag, and then the other is a winter bag. And it was a kind of a borderline time where I definitely could have benefited from the, uh, the winter bag, but uh, it was nice. But now I'm over here on the east side again, and uh, in the wake of the snow and the rain yesterday, there's a lot of really cold air out, so this may not be cold for some people, but for me it's pretty cold. It's about 36 degrees right now, and uh, that's uh, coming from someone who was uh, born and raised in San Diego where it's 72 degrees night or day. But I had my eye on this uh, little low-growing maple here and all of the litter from the pine trees. And uh, this is actually one of the maples that still has some pretty good color on it because it's still in the process of turning. But also some of the other maples, um, I was just watching the leaves just fall right off of them yesterday as they're getting hit by you know, big snowflakes or raindrops. So this one still has some nice color and I think it's a scene that large format will do quite well with. Um, just because you have all the various textures and elements and the uh, color of the maple just really uh, contrast nicely with the sort of earthen tones of everything in the foreground. But I made two exposures on Velvia 50, uh, F45, which is my kind of go-to aperture. It's not going to get everything in focus, so I'll have a slightly shallow depth of field, which will be kind of interesting, um, but not so shallow that it's, you know, um, looks like it's really blurred background. But uh, light right now is coming from some sandstone cliffs on the other side and one exposure there is a little bit of a cloud going over too which kicks some light in there. But uh, it's kind of nice to find some color back in here. And This is a scene that actually I found one or two years ago and I think with the rain and snow it kind of darkened the, um, the pine tree litter in the foreground which is pretty nice. But uh, I don't know, I'm not sure what else I'm gonna do for the rest of today. I figure since the washes were flowing with water yesterday, there might be some interesting stuff down in there to photograph, so I'll have to scout that out. But first, uh, I gotta load film and I I hate loading film. He likes listening to Taylor Swift while loading film. Don't believe that guy. That's uh that guy's an idiot. I I really don't like loading film. He's a Swifty. <laughs> it's cold out here. I found a kind of interesting scene over here, and this is an area I've been scouting in the past few days, and um, I didn't really see much potential here in the past just because it was really just overrun with footprints and mud and stuff like that. It wasn't very appealing looking, but with the water that came through over here in the, you know, yesterday in the afternoon into the evening, I uh, really cleaned things up a lot. So I exposed a single sheet of Ektar and then also a sheet of Delta 100 for black and white leaves are falling <laughs> which is what happens um, just a little distracting sometimes um, anyways it's a it's a very subtle light it's a very subtle glow and uh, I probably could have done just fine with Velvia here but I don't have any so I need to load some more film but I'll take you a little tour on some of the stuff that I'm seeing in this area which is kind of neat um, you got some of the leaves here um, with my footprints but with the rocks um, there was some frost this morning, so there was some kind of, now it's just kind of a dew on everything. But some wonderful collection of leaves. And then if we head back over here. Um, some also some nice pockets here where some oak leaves have fallen, which is kind of cool. And then mud ripples and stones. So I think I'm going to be busy this afternoon just kind of hanging out in these washes. But before I can do any of that, I've got to load some more film. After shooting that photo, I uh, went back and decided to make myself some lunch and to load some film. Because I had exposed all of my Velvia and all of my Ektar. And uh, so with some fresh film loaded up, I uh, returned to the washes just to kind of see how things had changed a little bit in some of the areas I'd been in maybe, I don't know, three, four days ago. And it was interesting, though it wasn't really um, there wasn't anything new as a result of the rain um, that I was really attracted to. And obviously a lot of fall color is in a state of decline now. So at this point, I think I can cross off the east side for this trip. I think I've gotten all that I really need to. And 
I don't know, I, I spent a lot of time there, so it's, uh, I think it's an area that's been quite good to me, and I'm uh, very happy, at least at this point, with the photos I've shot there, though I haven't seen them yet. You guys have, I haven't. So. Um, but now I'm just kind of hanging out, um, waiting for a sunset. I think it's going to be a pretty crazy sunset, and the bridge people are going to enjoy it thoroughly. Um, tomorrow, um, plan is to head into the Narrows, just so long as the weather cooperates and the uh, flow of the river is at a reasonable amount. And I do not plan on bringing my 8x10 in there. Um, I've lugged it around enough on this trip, but I just want to scout it out and see if there's anything I've missed in past years. So let's bring my lightweight scouting kit and see what I can find out there. But it's been a long day. I know I say that a lot because there's been a lot of long days on this trip. I lose track of how long I've been here, but I know I'm over the weak point at this point. But uh, it's been a good day. Lots of just wandering around and looking and did a little shooting and I did not expect that, so that was good. But now it's time to uh, watch a wonderful sunset unfold. <laughs> We're gonna unfold this sunset and then uh, go back to camp and grab some dinner. If you love this content and want to help support my journey, you can do so by subscribing to my YouTube channel, telling a friend, or sending a contribution of just $24 a year via PayPal. I depend on the generous support of people like you to produce this ad-free content. Thanks in advance for your support.